KT7 up here. Today, I will briefly forecast what is coming in mid-May to early June. This will also be my content preview for the coming month. I will have unit builds, review and showcase videos up before their banners arrive in global. Subscribe if you want to see how they perform in auto PvP settings. Wingstern's banner should be live now, I will put a link up to his 140 review video in the corner. Check it out if you haven't already. The third year anniversary will end along with the Dark Bahamu banner. I thought I will put this forecast video up now, giving you guys enough time to decide whether or not to pull on the current banners. Before we begin, I just want to quickly speak on the 3.5 year celebration on JP. We will be getting Ice Jaden. He is a 100 cost magic based spear user. With Grimoire Master and Cleric as sub jobs. He will have sure hit from Grimoire Master and Calamity Guard from Cleric. Ice Jaden can cast a 10k physical damage barrier on himself and has a brand new debuff. He can reduce any unit's hate value to zero. It does not matter if the targeted unit has hate in Master Ability, Passive Ability, Bow Tie, or Active Ability. He will reduce it to zero. It is very interesting, I am sure it will not affect initial turns movements. I think the AI might opt to use more single target attacks to take down backline units instead of large AoEs. I am definitely pulling for him and will test it out. The week after Ice Jaden, we will get Dark Shiva. A 90 cost vision card and Esper combo. It supports both the ice and water element. There are so many different combinations with these two elements. Also, Earth and Ice team with Jaden and Dialdo might be possible. I am looking forward to trying out these new teams. Now let's get started on the forecast. The banner after Dark Bahamu should be Reagan from FFBE. An Ice Elemental Bruiser. He is 100 cost and deals physical slash damage. In his main kit he can remove courage and has both fire and ice attacks. He also has courage and can self-chain. In the event side, we can farm for Reagan's sword. It has 20 defense penetration for everyone. Limited additional ability for fire and ice units, slash penetration 20, and recovers CT small when HP drops below 20%. Also in the same week, Chapter 4 of the Void and Darkness story will drop, featuring Howlet. The following week, we will get Reagan's VC. It is 70 cost and supports, Sword Red Mage, Sword Knight, and Gun users. It has Elemental Chain Resistance as a party ability, it is the first of its kind. Also, the Crystal Warrior banner will return. Featuring Joom, Phyllis, and Astrius. In the same week, we will be getting a new event, the Wave Battle. There are 10 waves in total, and we are allowed to bring two 5-unit teams. If all 10 waves are cleared in one go, we will be rewarded with all the material to plus 5 both the Blood Sword and Gang G Glove. Both of these items have some very strong abilities. I personally think the Gang G Glove is more useful. If you can't finish all 10 waves right away, I would suggest to plus 5 the Glove first. Along the way, we will be rewarded with 1 UR Antler and 100 UR Scrolls. Also in the same week, we finally get 140 for Lucio. His transcendence materials can be farmed, and he does not require any scrolls for reincarnations. Be sure to get him to 80 plus. He is pretty strong and works well with Wingstern. The week after, we will get the second servant of the void, Vega. A hundred cost lightning axe user. Deals physical slash damage. He can inflict Berserk with his LB, and his TMR's ability also grants a chance to inflict Berserk when attacks land. He has re-raise in his main job and courage in his sub-job. He also comes with a farmable axe. It has slash attack up and lightning attack up. If you decided to pull for him, farm a plus 5. The week after Vega, we will get the Master Coral Vision card. It is a cost 70 vision card and Esper combo. The VC supports Axe, Ninja Blade, Staff Black Mage and Staff Devout. The Esper has 20 agility and some strike resist in the board. It is a great Esper for Vega. That should cover the banner releases and events up to early June. After that, we likely will get summer units. I will have another forecast video around the second week next month. If you are pulling for Wingstern or Dark Bahamu, good luck. That's all I have for today. 
Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Sarisa, I'm the real name.